All right, welcome back everybody. This video is going to be a really easy one. Um, all we are doing is we are making this into a two player game instead of a one player game. And I've also sorted the camera out as you can see. Uh, it now focuses really well. Uh, and so it should for, for what I paid for it as well. Anyway, we're going to make this into a two player game and it's really easy. We're going to push a button in and put two wires in and then we're going to go straight to code. So the first thing I want to do is put the button in, just like the other one. We need some space for the person to uh, put the finger nearby to press without knocking into the other one. So we'll put a button in there. Um, and then we need to link it to a pin. Now, I'll have a quick look to see which pin I'm going to choose. Probably GP17, which is the one next to it. That should be fine. So we need all these orange ones just like that to get it into the power rail come on get in so it now has power and then we need to get it to uh, whatever I said which is GP17 uh, let's see if we can do that with a white wire no it won't reach okay um, the next biggest which is a green wire let's give this a go see if it'll do it green wire you know what it doesn't really matter which pin I use either so what's the one what's the is it the fourth or fifth one looks like it's the fourth maybe what's the fourth yeah GP18 that would be fine GP18 so we wired it up and in terms of wire up that's everything Wow, look at the quality now. That's so much better. That's the wire up complete. So let me just make this thing smaller and we'll go on to code. About there should be fine. Right. Now how are we going to modify the code? All right, so time to do more on this. So what do we need to do? So we need um, we need right button and left button. So this can so button here can now be left button. Okay, so left left button uh, da, 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 da. so this needs to be left button so we've changed button to left button um, what else do we need to do I'm just going to have a quick look at this this uh, book here so we've also got this pin what's the pin number I've used this one here it is GP 18. So GP18, so we need right button, <clears throat> right button, and it's 18. That's right button, 18. What else do we need to do here? We need right button uh, in there. What else do we need? Um, Okay, let me just have a quick look at this book again, just see how far we are. We've got right button, left button. Um, okay, that will do for now. So if we just save this. There we go. Hey! In 18 mode, what isn't it supposed to say reaction time? Time of start, time of reaction. What's happened here? Have I broken it or something? That's supposed to have that. I think we have to do string as well. String. I don't know if this is an old version or something. Let's run it again. Okay. String isn't defined. What do you mean string isn't defined? Is it strew? Maybe, oh, there you go, it's strew. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, try now. There we go. 328, and we'll start again. Three 
301 milliseconds. That's not bad for 12 o'clock at night. Okay, so that was the right button and the left button test. So what we need to do now is add a bit more uh, code to say which player is going to win. So the idea is that somebody has uh, the finger on this button, somebody has the finger on this button, and it's going to tell you who's got the fastest reaction time. So to do that, we need to add another global variable. Um, so the, new, the next global variable is going to be fastest button. Fastest button. So oh, how are we going to do this? So we're going to do here. So we'll, we'll comment this out. I can't write a comment now, is it? Oh, there you go. So we'll comment that out. So we'll say in here, global, which means uh, a variable that can be accessed from anywhere in the in the code, so this is going to be um, fastest fastest button, and we're going to say uh, fastest button equals pin. Now, in C sharp and and some other ones, you can actually do this equals, but we won't do that. So we're going to say fastest button equals pin. Fastest button equals pin. So there's pin there. So, okay, that can identify uh, which pin was the fastest. Okay, what else do we need to do? We need to do, we need fastest button in here. Fastest button equals, is it none? Yeah, none. Fastest button equals none. Okay, what else do we need to do? We've got the LED value, all that sort of stuff. Right, now we're going to have to change something over here. Let's go down here. So we've got timer start. We've got the interrupt requests. That's right. So now we need to do this. We need to say while fastest button. I'm using control and V that, by the way. So here's a little thing. If you double click on that, hold control and tap C. And if you do any any time later on control and v at paste it you see like this anyway just a little thing so what we do so while the fastest button is uh none then right it's indented that's good so u time dot sleep one time dot sleep one right that's good and then we need to go to another line So while the fastest button is none, then sleep, okay. Um, so if fastest button is the left one, I've got a, here you go, if it's the left button, is left button, then, then say something, print, go back to that in a minute. So if it's that, else, so I'll just copy that again and then paste. So apparently it's elif, else if, elif, if something, then that, else, that. And that's the syntax for that, including the indentation. So if fastest button is a left button, then left wins. Else. The right one wins. So let's just have a look through this again now. So, so we've got this, which is new. Pass this button, which is a variable. It's It can either store left or right, but at the moment it's saying none. So we've got this, which we already know about. So that doesn't actually get called there. That can go as well. So we'll go back to this in a minute. So it starts with this LED, turn it on. Then we sleep for a random amount of time. Then we turn it off. As soon as we turned it off, then we start a timer, and then when either the right or the left presses the button, it triggers the event handler, which is back up here. And when the event handler gets triggered, um, then we just skip that bit. Then the reaction time is the time now. 
uh, take away the time of start and that would give us the amount of seconds or milliseconds uh, since the LED went off. Then we have this, this global variable which is over here and it says the global variable equals and then the name of the pin, the number of the pin. Yeah, so that, that will be the number which relates to the pin uh, for left or right. So we've got that there. Where are we up to? Yeah, so, so then after that, while the fastest button is nothing, then sleep. In other words, wait. And then if the fastest button is the left button, then print left wins. If the fastest button is the right button, then print the right wins. And that should be it. So I'll just save this. Then we'll run it. And let's see what happens. Left wins. So the left one wins. Let's do it again. I need to get somebody else to do this, really. Left wins again. Try that again. Left wins again. Hang on, can right actually win? For some reason, my left hand's fast. Okay, let's see. Right is going to win now. Oh, hang on. Ah, that's why. Hang on, hang on. Where's right? Right button. I made a mistake here. Look at this. I cop this is what happens when you copy and paste. So, let's try that again. Right, it will be more fair now. Left wins. Oh, no. Left wins again. Okay. Just, I'll just... Just to uh, make the right one win, just to be sure. There we go. Yeah, so for whatever reason, my left reaction is better. Let me try that again. Surely not. Ah, I don't know. That's just one of those things. Anyway. Uh, so that's the next video, and uh, as you well, let me just check that there's not anything I've missed. Is um, I'm at page 79 now of the of the guide. Let me just make sure. So we've got yeah, to play a game, fastest button, interrupt and handlers. Yeah, so I'll just read this: interrupt and handlers. Each interrupt you create needs a handler. But a single handler can deal with many interrupts as you like. You have two interrupts going to the same handler, meaning that whichever input triggers, they're on the same code. That's fine, we know that. Anything else here? No, not really. Okay, so those of you who have got the book, the next thing we'll be looking at is the burglar alarm. And that's page 80 or chapter 7 of this book. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.